Edward and the male. Edward is a very wise engine. He knows all about the Fat Controller's railway. The other engines know they can always ask Edward for help. One morning, the Fat Controller came to Tidmouth Sheds. Percy has broken down. He's at the repair yard, boomed the Fat Controller. I need another engine to take the mail. Edward could do it, chirruped Emily. Yes, huffed Henry. Edward knows how to do everything. Good idea, said the Fat Controller. But Edward had never taken the mail before. Sir Topham Hatt told Edward to collect the parcels and deliver them just like Percy. Edward wanted to ask how Percy would deliver the mail, but he didn't want to look silly. I don't want the Fat Controller to think I can't deliver the mail, puffed Edward. I'll have to work out how to do it by myself. When Edward arrived at the mail depot, the station master was waiting for him. You have lots of parcels to deliver today, said the station master. Some for Farmer McCull, some for the children's party at Maithwaite, and some more for the school. Edward didn't know which of the parcels to deliver first. Maybe I should go to Farmer McCall's, Edward sighed. Or maybe to school. Edward puffed up to a junction. Thomas was waiting. Hello, Edward, chuffed Thomas. Are you delivering the mail today? Eh, uh, yes. Puffed Edward. You'll be good at that, tooted Thomas. Edward really wanted to ask Thomas which parcels he should deliver first, but Edward didn't want to look silly. The signal changed. Edward watched Thomas puff away. He was worried. Everyone thinks I know how to do everything, Edward moaned. I hope I can get it right. Edward decided to take the parcels to the children's party first. But Edward didn't know that Percy delivered the parcels in a special order. He accidentally left Farmer McCall's parcels with the children, and he whooshed away. Edward puffed across the countryside. Next, he delivered some parcels to the school. And finally, he delivered the rest of the parcels to Farmer McCall. That was easy, chuffed Edward. I made all the deliveries and I didn't have to ask anyone how to do it. He felt very proud and very relieved. But the Fat Controller was getting lots of phone calls. Edward had delivered the wrong parcels to the wrong places. When Edward found out what he had done, he was upset. I'll have to deliver them again, he wished sadly. Edward knew everyone was waiting for their parcels. He would have to hurry. First, Edward collected the parcels from the children's party. Then, he collected the parcels from the school. Now I have to collect the parcels from Farmer McCall, puffed Edward, and he steamed away. Edward was unhappy. I must not be late with these deliveries, he chuffed. Edward didn't want to let the Fat Controller down. I must hurry. He wished. Edward raced on. Mustn't be late, mustn't be late. But then, Edward had to stop at a junction. He didn't know which way was the fastest track to take to the farm. Edward was in such a rush, he didn't ask the signalman. 
Stop! shouted the signalman. That track is closed. Edward rattled round a bend and straight into a barrier. Parcels flew everywhere. I'll never deliver the parcels on time now, he moaned. Edward felt terrible. Soon the parcels were loaded back into Edward's trucks. Edward knew now he had to ask for help. I must find Percy. I will ask him what to do. So Edward steamed off to the repair yard. Percy was still being fixed. Percy, will you tell me how to deliver the mail? Edward chuffed. Of course I will, peeped Percy. He didn't think Edward was silly for asking at all. I deliver the parcels in a special order. I always start with the delivery that is furthest away, puffed Percy. Then I work my way back to Sidmouth Sheds. Edward was very happy he had asked Percy what to do. So Edward puffed across the island. Now he knew how to deliver all the parcels in the right order. The children got their parcels in time for the party. The right parcels were delivered to the school and Farmer McCall was very pleased. Everyone was happy. Everyone knew Edward was a wise engine, but now Edward felt even wiser. <laughs>